and welcome to another tuning video today as you guys are seeing in the background we are going to tune some more roll race cars i uh, saw how much you guys loved the, the last tune video so i decided on doing some original 1000 horsepower cars uh, these cars are all going to be pretty much around the same horsepower um, and also legend cars that have been around in the fl2k texas 2k you know 1320 mexico racing videos and stuff like that um, so right now, like you guys see in the background, I have the Shelby GT500, super, super nice car. Mustangs have been around for a while, um, so and they've always been kind of dominant. I mean, compared to GTRs and everything like that, they, they're, they're, they're kind of dominant. Um, but, I mean, road racing over there in Texas is no joke. So today we're going to tune for you guys. First car I have, I think I have five cars for you guys. Yeah, about five tunes, five builds. For you guys so everybody new to the channel hit that subscribe button as you guys see in the background I have the 2013 Ford Shelby GT500 uh, this car here let's go right to the upgrades let's go right over here I'm gonna show you guys the bills and then gonna go right to it and then I must save all the tunes because I forgot to save all the tunes for you guys so I have a lot of a lot of steps for it so this car has 1015 horsepower um, they're all going to be pretty low in the thousands, um, so I kind of made them all even. So this one has 1,015 horsepower, 867 foot-pounds of torque, and 3,000 pounds it weighs so uh none they're not all uh the order is it's whatever uh, the orders is not like from best to um from worst to best or anything like that so don't worry about the order it's just five really really nice roll race cars for you guys and i uh, hope you guys like it let's uh so we got the twin turbos in there let's go right over here the original engine and of course it's going to be rear wheel drive now let's go right over here, let's fully build it. Let's go like that, let's put everything on here. There's gonna be a couple parts that did not put so that I can uh, have it with the lower and the uh, horsepower. Um, but this car, because it weighs so much, it might need a little bit more weight. So I did put a stage two here on a sports intercooler. Um, once you go that way, you can get to 1,033. And I didn't wanna do that because, and then after that, if you do oil and cooling, of course you get even more. Uh, horsepower so I gave it only with there the sport intercooler and then I did put the race on the flywheel there uh, let's go right over here uh, we got race on the brakes we got race on the springs and then we have race there on the anti-roll bars and also race there no roll cage we don't need roll cage and roll race cars and of course full weight reducted we need as light as it possibly can let's put everything on here race when it comes towards the uh, drivetrain here and then with tires, we're gonna go with drag tires on there. On the front, leave them alone at 265. In the rear, we got 315s. And wheels, whatever wheels you guys like that are light, or just any wheels to say. Um, you guys can put whatever wheels you guys want just to make the car look cool and stuff like that. Um, and then I didn't do nothing with the sizes, like that alone. And I did put spacers just so they can look really, really aggressive there in the front and back. Um, besides that, I put the hood on there, um, on the car to reduce some more weight. And and then that was it that was it i don't know why they gave us that that crazy lab wing on it i have no idea why they gave us that it doesn't even have a body kit for it but that is the build right to the tomb guys we got 30 and 15 uh then we got 220 final drive 420 280 210 160 130 and one uh, 0 to 60 degrees or 100 does not matter. We're doing road racing guys and then also the top speed I have it that it's not really like the full 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 top speed It's uh, you're going to road race these cars primarily from a 40 to like 170 180 it's always been kind of the threshold on the uh, these thousand horsepower cars um, and, and it's it's really nice. It's real fun when you do a 40 especially lower lower miles per hour is really really fun um, Because once you go like higher miles per hour I mean, it's kind of hard trying to even both of the cars out But it's really easy at a 40 mile per hour. So all of these are going to be pretty much 40 mile per hour uh, Tunes and they also all of them going to be brake boost tunes or you know Pretty much you're gonna break with the with the with you know you're gonna control the uh, your your miles per hour with the brake while having the gas press all the way down. So I'm gonna show you guys that as soon as we get out of here. Uh, everything else zeroed out in seven. 
then we got 65, 65, and then we have uh, stiff in the front at 500, and then we got 860s in the back. So remember, guys, you're not going to be exactly like me. Some of you guys are going to have the numbers a little bit off, and that's okay. It's okay. So if it's at 520 in the front and 860 in the back, you're good. And then we got the car dropped all the way in the front, a little bit raised in the back there. And then we got equal distribution on this one, 6, 12, 12, and 6. Uh, nothing with this. This is so that we can do the brake boost a lot easier. We got it at 65 for the front and then 115 on that pressure, on that force there. And then 100 and 100. So that is the build and tune. Let's take this thing outside to the highway and hope the weather is looking good so we can show you guys these cars. Alrighty, we are out here. It's super, super sunny. Let's take this thing out. Got the original engine. This is the first time I'm hearing this engine on this car. Well, besides when I tuned it, but you know what I'm talking about. All in all, it's pretty quiet. It's kind of quiet, it's settled, it's quiet. It's not like, uh, like the Corvettes and stuff like that. They sound more aggressive, um, especially on Ido and stuff like that. It sounds pretty quiet on this car. So remember guys, it's gonna be a 40 mile per hour uh, brake boost launch. So to do that, let's go to first gear. And then all you have to do is press the gas all the way down. And then real quickly, you're gonna press the brake. If the car starts spinning like you guys saw, just redo it all over again, and then you, you'll be back to, uh, to normal. And uh, so we got uh, 22 pounds of boost, and if we go to 40 miles per hour, we're looking at like 860, almost, yeah, like about 860 on that torque there, coming out of the line at 5,000 RPM. So this thing right here, once you let go of that, uh, that brake, All the gears are going to be very, very smooth, back to back to back gears. They're not going to be boggy or anything like that. They're going to be continuous right after that. And then just giving you a nice smooth transition. That's why it's good to have that stiffer suspension uh, to help you out, especially if, if there's traffic. Even though I noticed that there is no traffic online, uh, there's like no traffic at all unless you go offline, which is pretty crazy. Um, to not have traffic, kind of cool for us. I mean, kind of don't like the traffic, but yeah. Break, let's go do another 40 pull real quick. Break, you have the gas all the way down. You slow down with the brake, the lower you go in the brake. We got 800 torque, foot pounds of torque there, 22 pounds of boost. Um, and then you, all you have to do is either honk it three times. And then that's it, boys. This thing will put that second gear and it is out. Super, super, super. Nice Shelby here. Um, this is going to be the first out of the five cars there that I'm going to show you guys. So let's go to number four. Alrighty, guys. So at number four, as you guys see in the background, got the Corvette, man. We got to do the Corvette. This thing almost has a thousand horsepower. I mean, it's right at like what is a nine something on the horsepower, but this is a legend of a car, guys. You know, this car here has been in every single Texas 2K with a thousand, twelve hundred horsepower. I mean, these these things are super, super cool. Uh, they sound amazing, especially the ones that come out on the on those videos. I mean, these things be cammed down, sound crazy 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 so as you guys see we got the 2009 chevy corvette zr1 um let's go right to the custom upgrade let's go right over here and uh um, we're gonna have used the original engine they gave us like a v10 and v12 for some reason but yeah fully built we got 977 horsepower with 833 foot pounds of torque weighing 2600 pounds now so it weighs a little bit less than that mustang uh even though the mustang has more power so it, it, it should be pretty good here another competitor uh, with that Mustang there so let's put in that twin turbo leave it rear wheel drive and leave the original engine let's fully build it we're gonna put everything on here race we need as much power I wish it would have gave us like at least 1200 with the original engine man that would have been super 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 nice love the Corvettes guys I really really like the Corvettes there we go flywheels you guys saw everything fully built let's go right over here race on that springs we want that thing low to the ground right cut right through that air there down force all the way to the ground and then full weight reduction no roll cage of course and everything race on here when it comes to the drive line drive train oh missed one more 
go show you guys there we go and then let's go right to the tires drag tires of course um, in the front width leave them alone in the back we got 355 you can probably pull away with uh, the 335s in the, in the back though you can actually can probably put that away uh, pull that away because it'll reduce some weight and it'll still grip really good wheels remember guys whatever wheels and then I did put the spacers just to make it look more aggressive the size of the wheels left it alone as well and then there's nothing to really do on here on the front and back just got fours and stuff so we're not going to do that and uh, okay let's install everything here Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty, and then let's go right to the tune, guys. So the tune is going to be 30. Tire pressure in the front, 15 in the rear. And then we got 220, 4, 285, 220, 170, 140, 110. Everything is zeroed out in 7. 65, 65. And then we got 549, and we got 819. Dropped all the way, a little bit raised in the back there, looking really good. 13, 13, 7, and 7. Nothing with this. 65 and 15. And 100 and 100. So let's take this thing outside and let's hear it. Just listen to that idle. <laughs> let's take this thing outside. Really like the, the Corvettes in this game. I just wish it would have had more horsepower, like at least 1100. Original engine. <laughs> you guys see those gears, man? They're back to back to back. The gears are super, 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 super nice there. Gotta love it. It always stays in the power band there with those gears and then just be smooth transition back to back to back to back. That's what you want. That's what you want in road racing. You don't want the gears to be super long, and no, you don't want that. Alrighty, guys, so let's do it. Remember, guys, gas and brake. Gas and brake, 40 mile per hour. Right down that telemetry, we got the uh, torque of, uh, what is it, at 40 miles per hour? Let's go a little bit. We got 829 there, 15 pounds of boost at 40 miles per hour. All we gotta do is let go of that brake. Guys, those gears are smooth as ice. Back to back to back, smooth gears there. And then fi finally trapping out with that sixth gear there. Super nice. Love this car, man. This car is so so nice. It's such an iconic car. I wish it would have gave it a little bit more, but yeah, guys, this is that number four car. So yeah, let's go to number three, guys. Alrighty guys, as you guys see the number three car, you guys kept requesting it, it's this thing right here. It doesn't even need any introduction, you guys already know what this monster is, and uh, you gotta love this thing man. Just the body style, the, everything about this thing, ever since it came out in 2009, this was such an iconic car, and it's, it's been dominating in so many things. I'm talking about top end speed, quarter mile speed. You name it, you name it. And roll racing, this thing is a killer. It's a killer of a car. And then Lamborghinis and stuff like that always look at this thing and be like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, yeah, guys, as you guys see, the number three car is the 2012 Nissan GTR Black Edition, also known as the R35. Let's go right over here to the custom upgrades. Let's go right over here. Original engine, all wheel drive, of course. Leave that alone there. Now, let's go over here. Let's fully build it. Let's put every single part in here. Um, I believe I didn't put the oil and cooling so that I can reduce some weight on this car because it doesn't need the oil and cooling for eight horsepower. Um, so, as you guys see, boom, put that, and then boom, no oil and cooling. So, we get 1,008 horsepower, 822 foot pounds of torque, weighing 3,100 pounds, all wheel drive. And then we're of course gonna put that flywheel in there. And then let's go over here. We got race on that in, race on that, and everything else pretty much race with no roll cage, no need of that. Full weight reducted, of course. And that is it. Let's go right over here. Let's put everything race. Just you guys see. There we go. And then the tires, we got drag tires on the front, leave them alone at 255. On the rear, full width there at 315. Then whatever wheels, guys, make sure to grab whatever wheels you guys like. I got them roadie forms. Look so amazing. Those wheels are super, super, super sick. Got the spacers all around, just making the car look super nice and aggressive, close to that fender. 
and then Lee left the size alone at the what is it 20 in the back and 20 in the front there super super nice and all I did was take off the spoiler I love this car without the spoiler for some reason more than I do with the original spoiler without the spoiler just looks so mean it looks so mean especially with those tail lights uh, let's go right to the tune guys so here goes the tune 1515 uh, 220 343 3 uh, 230 uh, 180 140 and 105 zero everything out in seven one and one uh, A50 and uh, 7, uh, what, 570, drop all the way to the ground, and then at 10, 10, 6, 6, nothing with that, 65 and 15, 100, 0, 100, 0, and 75, so that is it, let's take this thing outside, man, I just want to take this thing outside, let's do it. Alrighty, here we go, guys, we are outside with the Godzillas, let's do this, let's take it out for a little bit. Love all the carbon fiber. In real life, if I had one of these, I'd do all the carbon fiber all around. It looks so so nice. You guys see it? You guys see those gears? You guys see those gears, man? The things are super super smooth, back to back to back to back gears. You guys see it? You guys gotta love it. You guys gotta love it. Let's go down here. We are almost here, getting on the highway, let's go to that first gear, 40 miles per hour, brake boost, you guys already know. So we got 32 pounds of boost, at, at, and at 40, we got, we're at around, what's it, 815 around there, torque coming off the line there. Look at those gears, guys, look how smooth those gears are. This thing will probably do a lot better on a manual. You can probably pull off a manual without using the clutch. Um, this car is a paddle shift car and it is automatic, so the manual should work really smooth on it. Um, but I mean, you can do the shifts are really good too with the clutch, so it, it, you can you can pull both of them off. But yeah, guys, as you guys see, super iconic car. You guys kept asking for this car, and I wanted to bring it out with all the rest of the cars that were all 1,000 horsepower to match something like this. Um, so that's why I'm bringing the rest of the cars out just for you guys for you guys there you go. So let's go to number two guys. Let's go to number two Here you go guys. So at number two we got the Supra. It's gonna be the new Supra I decided to do the new Supra because of it's this is the first time we actually are able to have this car in the game and Why not why not making this thing as a road car? You know what I'm saying? We're pretty much soon going to start seeing this thing all over everywhere it's already doing some crazy nice nice numbers on the quarter mile um so imagine it you know nice 1000 horsepower for row racing um it's a super super nice car hope you guys like this car i personally like the style the body style on this car and everybody was super hyped that they came out in uh, horizon 5 so i decided on doing this car as a, one of the row cars um, so as you guys see in the background, I have the 2020 Toyota GR Super. Let's go right over here to the upgrades. I had to do the engine swap on it with the uh, racing uh, 2JZ um, just so that I can get 1,011 horsepower with a torque of 718 weighing 2,800 pounds. It normally weighs a little bit lower because if I take off the front spoiler or the front, the uh, front uh, lip there and then the uh, the back spoiler there if I take those things off it will be a little bit lower in weight so it's it should be a good competitor against the other cars there um, and then nobody kid rear wheel drive of course and let's go right over here let's uh, put this part in there let's put that one in there let's not put that part let's leave that one alone in stock um, let's put this one race on the engine block there and then the turbos leave them alone that's how I got to uh, 1011 horsepower uh, let's put everything else race on here Yep race on there and then everything else like you guys see no row cage and full weight conducted Now let's go right over here. Let's put this in here. So let's put everything on here race There we go. There we go. This racing 2JZ sounds insane though. I'm not gonna lie um, and then let's put the uh, the course track tires alone, leave it alone, 255, so that we can go massive 315s in the back, looking really, really sharp. And then I got, what wheels are these? These are uh, looking super nice, these work wheels. Oh my god, they look super nice. 
I wish I could go smaller in the back there with those wheels. Um, but besides that, that is it with the wheels and uh, spacers. Did all spacers all around just to make it look a lot more aggressive. And I did put the body head on it from the front bumper. Um, all I did was the front bumper and then the spoiler. Um, if you guys want to do it, you guys can. If not, you guys don't have to. So, you, you know, it is what it is. And then let's go right to the tune, guys. So we got 30 in the front, 15 in the rear. 220, 510, 340, 260, 2, 160, uh, 130, and then 120. So everything else zeroed out in 7, 65, 65, uh, 480, and 930 in the back. All the way lower in the front, a little bit raised in the back. Uh, and then 12, 12, 7, and 7. Nothing with this, 65 and 15, 115. And then 100 and 100. So that is it. Let's take it outside. Let's take it outside. Super, super nice sounding engine. Alrighty guys, so it looks like nightfall is coming down. Ooh, got a little spin there. Let's take this thing out to the highway. You see it in the background. We got the GT2 RS Porsche. I mean, Porsches come out on <laughs> at night, and these things are super, super quick. So I decided on doing a Porsche here. This Porsche almost has a uh, thousand horsepower into it with the original engine. Uh, so it's a nice, beautiful Porsche. Gave it that old school look to it. Uh, and I decided on picking this Porsche. The other Porsches can do a little bit more, um, but this one just looks super, super nice. And I decided on making this car as one of the uh, the road race cars to fit the thousand horsepower range. Um, besides that, I'm probably going to make a, a further video later on for road racing at the 800 bracket. And in the, in that bracket, I'll probably do like the Cadillac and like certain cars that kind of fit 800 horsepower bracket. Um, that'll probably be later in the future, so stay tuned, guys, for that. But yeah, we guys got the Porsche here, the 2012 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Let's go right over here to the upgrades, custom upgrades. And as you guys see, all you can do is just make it all-wheel drive, and we're not going to do that. I'm going to leave it rear-wheel drive, of course, and then let's uh, fully build it. Let's drop everything on here, race. Super, super cool there. Let's put everything on here, race, 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 race. There we go. There we go, and then the flywheel. There we go. Alrighty, now let's go over here. Brakes. We got the stock on the springs because they're already race springs, and then we got full weight reducted. Um, and then we're gonna put everything else race on here. Just go like that, like that. There we go. And then drag tires, of course. Boom. No width in the front, full width in the rear. And then whatever wheels. And I went full spacers all out, full spacers from the front and back, uh, just to make real cool and real aggressive to the front and the back of it. And the sides of the wheels left it alone. All I did is leave that hood on there. It just it looks real cool with that hood. So I left it, and nothing else you can do. You can't do anything else. So that is it with the build. Let's go right to the tune. We got 30 in the front, 15 in the rear, and then 220, 450, uh, 315, 245, 190, 150, and 120. Zero everything out in seven. 65, 65. Soft at 500. And then 860 in the back. Dropped all the way. A little bit raised in the back. And then we got uh, 6. And then 15, 6, and 15. Nothing with that. 70 and 120. This is a little bit harder to control, so I went a little bit higher. 
and then 100 and 100. Let's take this thing outside. It should be dark now, like a real, real life. Alrighty, so it's not fully, fully, fully dark, but let's take this original engine. Beautiful, lovely car outside. Let's go to the highway. Get it here to that 40 miles per hour. Let's break boost it. Got 725, 29 pounds of boost at 40 miles per hour. Look at those gears, guys. Look at those gears. Already at 180, like nothing, just like nothing. Super, super nice, man. This car is lovely. This probably will give the GTR a run for its money on this thing right here. I mean, all these cars would be right at like very, very close. The Mustang might be the heaviest and might be the slowest. Um, but if you guys want to bump it up a little bit and that, that horsepower to kind of even out with these cars, you guys can. Um, but all these cars, man, should be real cool competitors against each other, uh, making a really nice lobby with 1,000 horsepower roll race cars. Um, and look, somebody pulled up in a Mustang. settings let's go right over here we got my difficulty everything's turned off make sure to be standard guys please be standard um, this does have an effect a huge effect on your car so leave it in standard manual with clutch of course um, and everything else turned off if you guys want to see your telemetry there make sure to switch Anna to telemetry here in advanced controls and then that, that's how you can press down on the d-pad and see your telemetry and then let's go to the creator hub here I want to show you guys all of the tunes I have a lot of tunes out there um, let's go right over here. So we got the Mustang, and here goes the share code for the Mustangs: three six seven six three seven. Wow, six three nine. There, here goes the Corvette. We got three three seven seven six one one five three. We got the GTR. Here we go one oh seven one oh six oh eight three five five. The Supra. We got 118080067. It's like it is like tongue twisters. And then finally with the uh, Porsche 5882292204. So that is it guys. That's going to sum up the video. Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe, enjoy it, and I will see you guys around with another Roll Race Drag 2 video, shootout video, who knows. See you guys around. Bye-bye.